nice to meet you to this new episode of Igbit. In this season, I would like to show you the Teag. <laughs> and the, the funny co coincidence is that that on this player is also the IC H bridge defect in case of this is uh, turning uh, counterclockwise. Yeah, um, yeah. And I must say sorry to Plumpik. <laughs> that I don't clean the PCB boards. I never cleaned it in case of that, that the residue is gone in the air and smoke and so never cleaned this uh, the last 35 years. I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay, we must build out all what you can see here and uh, the, this is the IC what we must change. <laughs> Very funny, huh? <laughs> and there is no no possibility to come under it. Uh, we must build all out and now we do that. <laughs> the first one I would like to build out is the um, um, it's the it's the drive or not. Uh, the drive should be built out and um, we think the drive out. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah we, we never uh, we never uh, use this cleaning. There are some nerds, they are clean the PCB boards in case of the residue. But look here, this is also industrial uh, industrial made here. Look here, oh, see you can see this. Yeah, this is from the industry and also here nobody cleaning this residue, also the industry not. You can see it here, live. <laughs> oh, never cleaned. Because it's no technical, uh, it's no technical issue, or you don't have a problem with it. Because it's not, um, it's not conductive, and so you don't, don't don't use this. Don't use this to clean it. It's from the industry, not here, and uh, no professional service will clean that. I never heard about, <laughs> but it's. It's a it's it's a okay critic. I accept it. When nerds are doing this, and should we also do this? I don't know. So this is the drive. Drive is built out. The next what we would like to do is we build out this um, this transformer, huh? That looks like it looks good. It's. Ma <laughs> the funny thing is that the transformer is mounted here and uh, look on these four screws in black and <laughs> the print is only holded by the soldering points. And there is also the, the, the dirt of the flux or from the soldering process. Oh, so. oh is that close? So I take out a screwdriver, a bigger one, in case of this, these things are, or, mm. <laughs> I hope so there is no falling in screws. We must build out ore that you can come to the motherboard or to the ground board or whatever. This is important and um, uh, the the boards will be made in the industry, and if you uh, using a hot air on a PCB board like this or on the blue one from the from the other CD player, then you have a big issue. In case of that, that the the big issue is then uh, then the board is defect because the temperature for hot air it's only made uh, I know it's good if you have a, a double a double sided print or more layer print four layer print also then the hot air makes no sense but uh, if you do this on this board uh, it will be destroyed and I see so look oops aha the amplification, the look, the power board, all on it, transformer, fuse, 
stabilizer, stabilizer, stabilizer. So some stabilizers are not with a heat sink. Interest, huh? And capacitors. And the interesting is that it's built like here. What does that mean? The temperature. <laughs> Where's going the temperature? To these three holes or four holes? Huh? Do you think that? <laughs> it's so constant. Why they don't build it in so? Not in this direction, and the air is going up. Why do they do this? I say it, why? Uh, in case of that, they think this is running hours of hours, and then it stopped running. After 10 years, the machine must be dead. This is the, the background and in 10 years nobody will say this is a bad machine. It's a good machine. It's constructed well, no problem. Yeah. You don't have any construction fail, child um, sicknesses or so at the first. They don't have, they don't have this. First they have these child sicknesses, but um, they are gone after after the first series they gone. Look, it's the interface board mm, with the optical out or in is a optically out, yeah. And there are remote control, the own system and no open thing, and look, this is the this is the part. Yeah. Now we deinstall the the motherboard. It's very easy to deinstall in case of this here. One screw. Don't forget to hit it in the in the ceramic cup. Two. Oh, it's going hard. Is this a long a long one? We <laughs> must remember in the center is the long one. We can doing a marking. Marking the here is the long one. We asking why it's black, black zircon. And here is one more, but first we put it out. Short one, must remember, short one. And now the board is out. And the board is out. And here is the IC what we must change. So I'm taking now my soldering iron. So, uh, Blumpik, I show you now. Here you see this brown thing. This is the residue. It's nothing clean from the industry. And all industries are not cleaning their prints. Maybe the the motherboard uh, developer, but this is a one-side print. Yeah, they will be um, soldering by Schwall. Yeah, this is a wave of solder, and this board is going like this. Bzzz, yeah, and uh, it's soldering from the industry like this. And there is also no wash. We can clean it out. Yes, but uh, this is for nerds. The residue have no mm, no conductive. So first of all, we would like to show you um, how I'm doing this out, and we must make a zoom and hold this to this place. Um, the first thing what I'm gonna do is uh, every time I desolder it, I'm. I'm doing this I solder the old one again and then we can desolder it for example with this copper unsoldering method
this is a thing where I must concentrate myself now. It's say yes and well. Um, comes to the point where I must cut this. Uh, hold your cutter every time in this thing. I would like to show you this with the big one uh, machine, but the point is that, uh, that the big one are not um, having this pin distance. The pin distance is too bad. So I must using this method. Okay, well, this is also not desoldered, that pin. So, now, I hope so we have luck. I cut this again. And we are using a screwdriver, a small one, to lift up the chip. And I hope so can be lift up. This is interesting. I have no cooling system here. And what's happened? Oh, the last pin is not uh, desoldered. Oh. oh my gosh. Now you see the. Professional are destroying all. <laughs> and lift. So we have the bed out and incidentally I have a second one from Toshiba and this IC will be built in. Also I bending now the lids like this. You see? That it means it falls in into the into the PCB board. Now you can see it's close here. Now we're doing a simple trick. Heat it here and heat it here. Now someone other holds it and we're doing this. You can see. Here it's short, now it's open. Here it's short. Don't make a short on it. Oh, it looks like good. And he Yes. We must make a test. Look. Oh focus. Here's the focus. And here in the middle is a short.
that makes me not happy. Interest-wise, uh, do they have a, a plan for this? I don't know. For the motorizing, and um, why they doing no cooling cooling system on it? Because this chip, I think it's overheats. It's too warm, or if the current making the thing, I don't know. Now the the bot will be inserted in the in the body. There is one. This is the center of the screw. This is the fat one. The fat long one screw. <laughs> and So I rebuild this tier again and hope so there is no controller problem, controller issue or stuff like this. So it fits, this also fits. Now we must look here. <laughs> funny if you insert it wrong then you'll be gone crazy yeah then the machine is destroyed but the connectors are well uh, in this thing look we have the black screws but these screws on this side are with a, with a rod with a active bright rod and we are only we are only fixing it by one screw in case of that that could be also a processor problem and we fixing it here by the, uh, the audio out that we can connect uh, for uh, for the audio out we can connect it here to this And here, now oh, we, we build in first this, it's much simpler to handle. The transformer is built in, then we have the big, we have a big issue. No, we, have, we don't have an issue. It's all good. fix it here with only one screw ah, it's working it's working and then we build in this this fantastic fast they they build it really fast look oh it's snapped here no in the other direction, I think, huh? it's better. It looks better, or no? It could be that is must be so. <laughs> I can't remember it. Schnapp, you hear this? Schnapp, that sounds good. And now we must find the holes. But uh, only one hole. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. You can move left and right with this screw. And here on this side. 
with one fixed side, this is the fixed side, and the other the moving side. Oh, oh this is interesting. Why? Why this is so? Hmm. Oh, well. Well, it works. It's not the best, but it works. Oh, so, now we must make a, a short video for it. So, and then I would like to change this to this place. I would like to make a test. Now, fingers crossed, <laughs> I'm doing the plug. <laughs> and uh, connect it here and now switch on it works it spins in the ra correct direction this is uh, this is a good sign huh and play <laughs> it's running <laughs> I must clap my hands <laughs> okay and now I'm going to the amplifier and Turn on this and the tape, and uh, maybe I got a sound of it, uh, out of it. So that will be nice. If this occurred, then I'm happy, because you know these machines are for poor people, and these poor people are like me, <laughs> connecting the cable on it, and look, 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 look comes super that's super that sounds good see that, uh, that the thing will be mounted and uh, we are assembling it again and assembly it again and this screw should be also here also the transformer uh, some transformers are making this noise like or so uh, you can uh, open the screws and blowing in a plastic key, a plastic spray. Uh, and then the transformers are silent again. Uh, I'll show you the plastic number seven, 70 from Contact Chemical Company. Uh, there are also other companies they are producing a plastic spray but don't use that as a contact spray in case of this the, the funny <laughs> the not funny is um, these guys are making uh, the can in a color in a color red yes and uh, the contact chemi the contact chemical making it in red and then they make it in in uh, the plastic they made also in red <laughs> and there was there was one time then I was in hurry and <laughs> take the 70 the plastic and cleaning contacts from a TV <laughs> You must know uh, that was not a so good idea 
in case of that, that's this uh, uh, <laughs> plastic mega isolation under contact. And I switch on the TV and after the repair the TV never start again. <laughs> I must uh, disassemble the whole TV set in case of that that is not that it was not correct. Yeah. Ah super. This was a, a, a horror for me to doing this. I mean switch off. And now we must um, put the thing on it. Where we where it is? Oh, here it is. Look, here we have the the stored things and uh, this small like to have open up. This we must put here. It snapped in. Okay, it will click. Clicky, 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 and it's okay. Doing in by hand. Don't do that. This is not good for the machine. For the inside, if the position is wrong, and so the ah, oh, it's a it's a hammer. So I close the body and <laughs> oh my gosh! Now I forgot to clean. Ah. It's not fun. Uh, at the next machine, I would like to remember that I must clean it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry. It's only for high fidelity nerds, and some, I don't. I'm also a high fidelity nerd, but uh, not in this case. I'm closing this body, and uh, I'm very. I'm not surprised about this. Yeah, and it is so. There is a wrong position. It's not the wrong position, I have the right position. But uh, there is a. Uh, something, something went wrong. Don't know what. But this is not good. <laughs> what shall I say? Hope so I can put this screw inside here. Then it's okay. Super. Easy. Ugh. And here we are. I'm closing this. Camera is gone off. It's overheated now. But for sure, I closed the body. Maybe it holds. <laughs> oh. I don't think so. So, and then number four on the back side. Then we are close. Finish. <laughs> now we would like to make a test in the closed position and uh, I hope so it can read the, the CD. Open it up, putting in a CD, closing it and this is interesting. Why is doing this? Crazy. Very funny. Yeah. Yes, it works. Dirty. So this was the Teak PDH300C, and well, the edge bridge was defect. It's running now and. Sometimes it jumps, but we must 
follow the laser current maybe the laser current is too low that the reader jump out of the track we must show and have a watch on it yes but in principle it runs well i must say sorry um, that i don't clean the pcb because i have so much things to repair that i must making a washing machine for pcb and this is um don't have the time for this i know there are people they using isopropyl to cleaning up this bad thing but uh, also on this board you can see the industry will also don't clean these boards so this is uh <laughs> this is the reason why i'm not cleaning the boards um if you're interested in my channel please subscribe and so or sponsor me at patrons and I say thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.